Pomar. This piece from Museo di Capodimonte in Naples is visiting the Louvre for the Naples in Paris exhibition. Called Drunken Silenus, it was painted in 1626 by Giuseppe di Ribera, showing us the most devoted follower of Dionysus, the Greek god of wine. Silenus stood as a symbol of total and complete abandon to drunkenness, and here Ribera pairs him with many animal symbols. The turtle for laziness, the snake for wisdom, the donkey for foolishness, and the shell for impending death. When we look at those surrounding him, including the god Pan, we get a sense that they have dark motives. But Silenus cannot read the situation, lost in his desire for the wine pouring into his cup. One of the great Caravaggisti, Ribera was a leading artist of the 17th century. His gruesome and harrowing subject matter combined with his dramatic use of light and shadow, along with extreme realism, to produce captivating work. The painting highlights why Ribera is often considered the leading voice of Neapolitan painting. It has all the trademarks of what makes his entire oeuvre so special. Masterful technique, powerful light and shadow, human ugliness, and a sense of foreboding. The only thing it lacks is violence. Absolutely. And here, the absence of active violence only adds to the painting's intensity, making the imminent consequences of excess and folly central. Looking at this work, we can also take up a grander narrative, the shift of art into the modern period, which would begin in earnest two centuries later. But already, we can see how an artist like Ribera, inspired by Caravaggio, is glimpsing this new paradigm. First, he focuses on realism. While Ribera still works in historical, biblical, and mythical scenes, his characters, much like Caravaggio's, feel like real people in moments you might recognize from life. It would still take generations for leading artists to be confident enough to paint scenes drawn from their own experience, but it all started long before with artists like Ribera making the mythic somehow familiar. In this same temporary exhibition, you can find Caravaggio's 1607 effort, The Flagellation, where a similar current runs through the piece. Again, we are given a scene that would typically be shown in a stilted, reverent way, but Caravaggio makes this a truly brutal affair. Here is a man being tortured. We can feel the pain and suffering, the fear and humiliation. It's a very different form of reverence, one that helps us connect to the experience of the passion. You can see these paintings and many more at the Louvre's Naples in Paris exhibition from June 7, 2023 to January 8, 2024. Click the link to view our Paul Mart video on the painting Antia in the same show. Pumar.